All right. It's already gone. On, ladies and gentlemen. It's already gone. Posters on his best behavior. Yeah, okay. We're going to give him a, I give him an A minus for deportment. Now he's acting up again. No soup for you. <laughs> All right, up next, get ready to laugh your banana feet off. Here it is. A big warm welcome, please, for Luke. Good. Can you hear me? Good. So tonight, I'm wearing my Iowa City shirt. Might be hard to see. I lived in Iowa City for a year last year. And I feel a certain allegiance with Iowa City. It's kind of my brotherhood city. I went there, I was at University of Iowa for a bit, and hot guys, but really my allegiance isn't hot guys, it's Chipotle. <laughs> and, um, you know, in, in preparing to come up here, I often, I, I was listening to a bunch of YouTube videos, stand-up co comedy clips, and I found, I found a lot of it distasteful, if you know what I mean. It's a lot of humor based on really degrading others and putting down different kinds of people. It's, it's distasteful. Chicken tastes much better. <laughs> and, um, and, and on the similar, similar lines, you're just roasting people. Just, and, and that's, I like, I like humor that's more about, more about uplifting people. You're gonna roast something, might as well roast chicken instead. <laughs> and I think that that comedy, as opposed to some other, many other performing arts, is one of the most vulnerable ways to perform because there's, there's nothing to hide behind. There's no, it's not, not really easy to cover up. And, and a lot of comedians would, would say that, that they feel like they're sunk if their audience doesn't laugh. You know, I'm sunk if my audience doesn't laugh, which is why I don't perform on boats, it's for safety. <laughs> and uh, I, I really like all the candles out here. I think it <laughs> offers a nice, nice feeling, you know, as well as having some nice entertainment and some good spirits. You have some nice lighting and it feels good. Something special about candlelight. But one thing I don't understand are candlelight dinners. They just don't sound very filling. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this image behind me, I learned a little bit about it not too long ago. It's one of the characters in one of, one of the characters in the Sistine Chapel, on the roof of the Sistine Chapel. And as I remember, this, this, um, this form here represents, uh, I, I guess, the, the, I don't quite remember, but something about the, the, the goddess that in, inhabits the, the oracle of Delphi, I think it is. So it's, it's cool to have back here. And I'm still blown away that the Sistine Chapel let it get shipped all the way here to be here. <laughs> so I've got one more for you. And knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting. Ah, that's my favorite joke ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo!